Hey guys, Pond here with another video for Rise of Empires Ice and Fire. And today I'm going to be talking about the Dragon Altar and the Red Dragon. So for those of you who are new to the game, you will start with the Red Dragon in your castles at level one, chapter one, where it appears as an egg and then you unlock it. For those of us that have already been playing the game, uh, we received an update a few weeks ago where our castle layout changed and the Dragon Altar appeared with the red dragon we all received the red dragon i think it was at level 15 and he was a young dragon and from levels 15 to 20 you have to um, up, upgrade the dragon and collect what is called power of belief um, and you need a hundred power of beliefs to then move the dragon onto adult dragon on level 21. so how do you do all of those things and what do you do with the dragon and what are the benefits? Well, let's just click into explore here and into the information. And the game does give us information on this dragon system. So first off on the dragon system, feed the dragon to increase closeness. Once full, the dragon's power can be unleashed for bonuses. The dragon needs to be fed with meat to level up. Hunt games to obtain meat. Different game yield a different amount of meat and experience. The dragon needs to be evolved with the power of faith, which can be obtained by completing quests. As the dragon grows, talents can be activated, which yield different effects for the player. Dragon exploration. Dragons can level themselves up via exploring and find valuable resources along the way. If the exploration fails, the dragon stamina will be wasted. And if successful, then it won't be. Stamina can be regenerated with time. So similar to our troop legions. Exploration success rate increases with the dragon's level, but to a cap. New areas exploration may take several times aside from the rewards. Patrol quests can also be unlocked. Patrol quests are refreshed daily, but exploration quests won't be refreshed. So if we go back into the altar. So here we go. So every day when you log into the dragon altar, you will see these two different, uh, there are several different types shown here. So as the game said, Patrols are refreshed daily and some of them have 100% success rates. So you're guaranteed the rewards that are shown here. For, so for the iron mine, we can just click explore and we've automatically already got 18,000 iron and 20,000 dragon experience points. So we're just going to click through these and gain the rewards. There are lots of different kind of rewards you can get. Speed ups, food, iron, even as this one has got some courage medals. So the further down on the patrols, the higher the level, the more different patrols you unlock, which do have some really good benefits. But equally, as you can see here, these patrols have a much lower success rate, 38%. Um, so you can click explore multiple times and it, it takes 10, it has a 10 second cooldown for you before you can explore again. And up in the top left hand corner here, as you can see, this is our dragon stamina. So if exploration fails, dragon stamina will be spent. If successful, the stamina won't be spent. Stamina re re regens over time. So once you go down to zero on the stamina, you won't be able to do ex any explorations. Beneath that, it shows your level of the dragon and the current experience on that level. So as you can see, I've now clicked on this patrol three times and it hasn't been successful. So it's not all it's not always guaranteed. And as I click through, still not getting it. So it's not always guaranteed that you are going to get it similar to the success rate on the percentages. At the bottom here, here is the exploration. So explorations, you will not refresh on a daily rate. You do have to complete them. And they usually take multiple um, explorations to actually pass on to the next one. So, But you do get better rewards with these. So. Um, once I complete this, I'm going to get 56,000 dragon experience, 48,000 lumber, 32,000 marble, and two 20,000 experience hero hero points. So, and along with that, once you can, and that will be each time that you complete the exploration. So you'll get that four times on this one. And then if you look here, there's a little rewards chest. And once you've completed that exploration four times, you will get 120,000 gold and a dragon's treasure chest. Dragon's treasure chest yield, uh, yield quite a few different um, gifts. So I have seen um, two times 100,000 hero XP, 
um, advanced teleports, one super ticket, um, courage medals. Um, so there's quite a few decent rewards that you can get from those. Let's just try and use up all our dragon stamina here. So I've just won that patrol. So nine courage medals. And I've got 10 stamina left. Nope. And that's it. So once you're down to zero, then you won't be able to explore any more. So as you can see, the button remains gray. You can't activate it. But how else can you get experience points for your dragon? Well, if we just click on the altar again and click dragon. So on the left here, we've got one type of meat which yields 1000 experience points and on the right we've got another type which is mutton that yields 10,000 so um, to obtain the 1000 meat what you have to do is you click obtain and then that will automatically send you to a deer so you will see these deer roaming in your castle and their purpose is for you to hunt them to increase your dragon experience points so you can level up your dragon so all you have to do is click hunt um please note that you do have to have workers free to hunt the deer so if i click on my worker page here they're working that is what they're doing at the moment um they are going to be hunting that deer for me so there are two ways to find deer in your castle you can either go to the altar and click obtain as i just did or you can manually scan your castle for deer And there's another one. So if we click on that and hunt, and as you see now, I've got two workers hunting deer. So if you've got workers doing other things, then obviously you're not going to be able to hunt too many deer. Um, deer do refresh in your castle at quite a rapid rate. You're gonna have to hunt a lot of them before you reach any type of cap. Um, I've certainly not never, there have been periods where there haven't been any deer in my castle, um, but I haven't reached a daily cap as far as I'm aware. If we click back into Dragon Altar, so once you've obtained, once you've hunted, you'll see that the um, these items then are able to be used here to increase your Dragon XP. But before that, I just want to show you one of the skills that your Dragon has. So if we, you see that there's this symbol here and it has a full ring around it. And if we just click on the Dragon symbol here, this re this refers to the Dragon's power. So once 100% closeness is reached, Dragon's power can be activated. During its duration, worker movement speed is plus 100%, so a really good buff there. During the duration of the Dragon's power, when construction timer is lower than 640 seconds, construction can be finished instantly, uh, and that increases with level. So there's a, there's a construction time uh, power buff in there as well. So... What we're going to do so all you have uh, you just click on the symbol here and as you can see it's now activated the dragon's power and that has a 45 minute countdown so we can now use it and if we say click on this deer and ask our workers to hunt it's going to take half the time it's going to take around 20 seconds to hunt the deer and if you look here our workers have now got this kind of speed dash effect around them to show that the power has been activated and um, the other power that the dragon has in terms of um, building upgrades so i'm just going to start upgrading a building here uh, so let's just do a charcoal factory and click upgrade so after the initial alliance help icon that we are all used to getting then you're going to get a dragon icon and if you click on that the dragon is going to come over and use its power to reduce the speed, uh, the construction time as indicated. So here it comes. And once you see that flash icon, that's going to have reduced the construction time. The dragon does have other benefits. So if we click back into dragon and click on talent. So once you come uh, into the dragon talent, you'll see all the different benefits that are available to you. We just use the storm benefit which is the um, reducing the building time and that has a one hour cooldown so we won't be able to use that again but these other benefits they are permanent benefits to you so um, and they mainly related to um, either resource production uh, gathering speeds or things to do with research or construction so 
Let's have a look at what we've got here, guys. First off, for food, so in this first ring, it's uh, nature and it's increasing the production efficiency of our farm. So we're getting an extra 390 food production per hour. This is going to increase with the dragon level. Same for lumber, except we're getting 780. Iron 390 and marble 520. Next on the ring are the gathering talents. So these are unlocked at levels 21, 24 for lumber, 27 for marble and 30 for iron, which is why I haven't unlocked these. So if we just click on it, it will tell you uh, the unlocking conditions as it says tw level 27 for the marble gathering and level 30 for the steel claw iron gathering effect. So obviously that's really good for your um, for your castles if you're, and, and farms if you've got gathering selected on Sundays and Mondays. Um, that's going to make it easier to hopefully hit the ninth Clash of Province reward box that we all we all sort after every day. Um, and any help that the game can give us is is good, really. So that's a nice little bonus for us. And then we have these four additional talents here as well. So starting with heat, so that is for, it's a research speed buff. So currently at this level, it would reduce the speed by 10.4% on our research. Um, but you can't unlock that until level 35 anyway. So um, obviously it's gonna have an even better impact for you by the time you get to level 35. Dragon's Breath unlocked at level 40. And this is a gold production buff. So it's gonna give you any, well, right now it would give me an extra 2.6%. So um, again, anything that helps the, helps us with gold production is a good thing. Um, we need gold constantly, no matter how experienced or what level you are in the game. So um, anything that's gonna help us increase our gold production is a good buff as well. And then on the bottom here, Let's go to lineage. So lineage is a construction speed buff. Um, so that's going to reduce your construction speed times. Really helpful when if you've got, uh, you know, those storage upgrades or barracks, etc. They all take multiple days. Anything that's going to reduce that time a little bit for you, help you develop that little bit quicker. That's going to be of benefit for you. And lineage is, is reached at level 30, 45 to unlock this one. And finally, light is so the final talent available to us guys and this is unlocked at level 50 and it's a construction resource buff so it's going to reduce the cost of construction for you excluding gold unfortunately um but again even if you're you know two percent of um of a level 25 stable for instance 180 million 180 million lumber that's going to save you by the time you get to level 50 as well it's going to be considerably higher you might be saving you know 10 million 15 million resources by having your dragon up to level 50 or or beyond so um it's definitely worth doing guys focusing on your dragon and spending a bit of time on it every day to unlock these talents and in regards of the dragon power that we unlocked, um, if you, you can actually refresh that by then using the meat to increase increase the XP. So if you look at the icon in the middle here, we're going to use the meat that we got from the deer. And as you can see, your closeness has now increased to full. Uh, mutton gives you 10,000 XP and you get that by hunting monsters. So it's just the normal four monsters like the swordsman desert snake etc um not destroyers um so i hunted one of those earlier and you'll see you'll know if you've got mutton in your rewards if you go to the monster attack ward you'll see here so i've obtained one mutton in the loot from attacking that monster So that's the red dragon guys again okay it's a for us experienced players it's another element to do every day um that's going to take up your time but uh it does have quite a few benefits to it with those talents and um i would say it's definitely worth 
doing, particularly if you're a newer player to the game um, and you can level up your dragon as quickly as possible. Um, you know, if you're getting those, if you're getting the benefits of those construction and research um, talents, then that's going to be uh, worth quite a bit to you in save time and resources um, over the course of, of the game over the following months. So um, I hope you found this video helpful, guys. Um, please do subscribe, like, ring that bell and have any place any comments below that you may have. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all again soon.